I suppose we won't be needing the holy water then. I don't believe this. What? No hug? Have you any idea what you've put Summer through? She thought you were dead in a ditch somewhere. Can I see her? No! You can't see her! And what about your mum? She's been going out of her mind. I even hired a PI to try and find you. More fool me. I leave you two to catch up. How long have you been up there? A few days. And what made you come down now? Believe it or not, I'm hearing your voice. Don't bother, Todd. I'm with someone else. Now, are you going to tell me why you are back? Or am I wasting my breath? He's been hiding in the attic. Look, why don't you go back to work, Mary? I can handle this. You might need some moral support. This is a waste of time. Billy, wait. If you can't answer a straight question, then what's the point? Todd, get back inside. Someone might see you. Why shouldn't anyone see him? Did you know he was there? No one else's business. You lied to me. You said he'd gone. You knew too? That is not important. You made me believe we had a ghost. I said you were being ridiculous. We were about to sprinkle the landing carpet with holy water. What on earth is going on, Eileen? Oh, I will leave you to it. You have made a right monkey out of me. I hope you two are happy. Are you going to let me explain or what? It's just going to be more lies, so what's the point? You all right? Paul. Oh, uh, the school called about summer. It, you know, it's all right. You don't need to do that anymore. Ah, right. <laughs> Exorcism's off, then. Take it this is the other half, then. Todd? That's Todd, right? I, I recognise his photo from Summer's room. Yeah, I'm the ex. Pleased to meet you. We were just catching up. Right. Well, I don't know what this is, but you obviously don't need me, eh? Um, see you at home. No, Paul, just wait. Can't help yourself, can you? You've been home five minutes. You're already causing mayhem. 